Vale. Pillamos un filtro. Tenemos algún teleport, este pero está en contienda. Y eso también. Vale. <coughs> Bajamos hasta ahí. Vamos allá. Ah, you made it. Further research awaits, Commander. Shall we? Still so many questions. We already neutralized the void, or in confirmed it. Yet there's obvious disequilibrium here. I'll try to get more out of Chilmu about this haze once we're done. Would he even know anything? You said yourself, he's been hiding at camp while this crew goes berserk. Look, he really screwed up, but he's not what you think. Oh, huh. a criminal, a coward. Well, so far he's proving both. It's blocked. Come on, Finn. Let's check it out. I need some air anyway. You're not getting it down here, that's for sure. It looks pretty solid, but I bet we can find some spots to break through. Finn, switch to inspect mode, please. But of course. Now activating inspect. Commander, you know your way around a mech drone. Care to do the honors?
Your mech seems more agreeable now. A little tune-up and Finn's back to his old self after deprogramming some learned behaviors. Look, Chol Mu's not the easiest guy to battle. But you've seen him at his best. Dragon's End? That's the real him. He gave me a chance when the world acted like I was invisible. Objective Jim, complete. The was my only home. Was this right now to he's your losing satisfaction? control. He know you did fantastic, Finn. Thank you. are likely to rise the farther we go. If you feel faint at any point, you... You'll be the first to know. Shall we? Una linea de ley, parece esto. Demons! Ambush! Ahead! Hit them! Yeah, you were right. Just interference. Ah, although your lack of eye contact is a tad concerning. Huh. Nice catch. Commander, you all right? Feels like I got the wind knocked out of me. Invigorating! Eso es una boca que está comiendo la magia. Wait, is that? What is it? A ley line. An unparalleled source of raw magic, pure energy. This must be why the proximate jade is so powerful. 
it could be monumental in solving Kantha's energy predicament. Interesting. And what's this? Oh, fascinating. I need a closer look. Finn. Can you get us across? Activating. Gap traversal device. Executing. Executing process. Is this what's messing with the Brotherhood? Working near a power source this strong? Unlikely. The simple exposure to ley line energy generally isn't enough to affect one's well-being. Though something is unusual here, I've never seen a ley line produce any kind of miasmic byproduct. Oni, move now! There's more than one? It must be deceiving our senses, blurring reality. We have to stay focused. Everyone take a platform and divert its attention. Commander, I could use your help here. Rama, come with me. I'll give you a lift. <laughs> In my short life, there was so much left that I wanted to see. Using my mentor against me. You're pathetic! Commander! Yao, you now? I can't keep this up much huh? longer! Sorry, Yao. Got out of sorts for a moment. It's good to see you here. Stop! Commander? You alright? Hang in there with me! What's that? These people love you. You don't care. You know that's not true.
Look at me closely, Commander. Concentrate. Who am I? Take your time. You were extremely discombobu- I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh... I'm fine, Gorik. Oh, thank the alchemy. You had us worried. You were talking to us like we were... Well, not us. Like old friends. Yes. That demon. It was messing with my head. Made me think you were someone else. Yes. I should have known as soon as it introduced those clones. It appears to be able to alter its victim's reality. I've been trying to reach you since Yao dropped everything and ran into that hole. June is... <laughs> she... Furious, I know. But we're making important discoveries down in this hole. And if I have to upset June to save... June will not be upset when she hears what we found. A ley line. That's what's been supercharging the Jade. Well, that's... that's fantastic! A potentially free-flowing Jade-based energy source. It's... it's too good to be... There's an unkillable, mind-altering demon gorging on it. <laughs> oh. Don't worry. We'll eliminate it. Or at least lure it away from the ley line. And what's your plan of attack this time, General Gorik? I'm afraid it's going to be unpleasant, especially for the commander. I wish there was another way, but that demon seemed particularly attracted to you. Fighting it will require neuroparasitological investigation. <sighs> if that's what it takes. Sorry, Commander. Yao's right. It is important work. I'll fill June in. Keep us posted if you can, and <coughs> good luck. But... I knew I'd achieve this. Y esto termina la historia actual. Now this is a fine. Vale, pues vamos a charlar con estos. Y ya lo dejamos por aquí. Eh, igual grabo otro vídeo con el metamento del mapa. A ver cómo estoy de ánimo. No apology necessary. That creature tried to latch onto a powerful memory to see what emotions it could provoke. Although it seemed to me that first memory wasn't enough, that you dealt with those uh, metaphorical demons before. Yes, the demon seemed to latch on to increasingly raw and more recent memories, feeding on your response. And I'm afraid we're going to have to use that to our advantage if we're ever going to completely defeat it. Maybe you haven't completely dealt with all of your feelings, or perhaps the haze somehow lowers our ability to cope, or it enhances our sensitivity to emotions, Unfortunately, we're going to have to experiment to find out. I thought I was ready, but as Rama has helped me understand, it's harder than it appears. I have a new appreciation for you, to be sure. I'm starting to wonder whether his high degree of intuition can be taught, but I'm doing my best to take his advice and watch how he works. It's okay. Gorik told me about Air, how much she meant to you and to your whole crew. Her bravery in the fight against Mordremoth, the way she was betrayed, I'm sorry. June's not a charitable person, but deep down I think she knows I'm loyal, though maybe that's part of the problem. I would never betray June's trust. But just because I stopped working for Cholmu doesn't mean I cut off all ties. Like June, he can be tough. And it's no stretch to say he hasn't been at his best down here. But he didn't get where he is by being incompetent, and he truly cares about his people. Anyway, if June knows me as well as I think she does, she'll get it. She might not like it, but she'll understand. Kantha, this discovery could do so much for so many people. And if I can help some old friends along the way, even better.
so I hear. Sounds like she was a hell of a soldier. And a good friend. Yao's mech came through. Technically, Yao built the mech, so... Finn is pretty great. <laughs> okay. Okay. A lot of folks say they want to help, but only show up when it serves them. But Yao's good people. And Finn. Got off to a shaky start, but took charge when the chips were down. Made good decisions. Hey, he's learning from the best. Much as I've learned to trust Yao's judgment, not sure I'll ever come around on this. But Yao has their reasons. I get it. Yao, Chilmu, June. They're like a dysfunctional little family. Not sure if Yao's the kid or... The marriage counselor? Maybe. But you start asking me about my love life, and I'm gonna return the favor. Don't think you're ready for that, pal. Bueno, pues con esto ya está. Me quedan una vista y dos puntos de interés. Que es esta vista de aquí, este punto de interés de aquí y este de aquí. Ah, y este de aquí también. Vale, pues este sí que lo ve. Vale, estos tres y esa vista. Y luego hacer el meta event. Que de todas formas, aprovechando que estoy aquí, igual podía completar el mapa ya. Ah, no tengo. No tengo el filtro. Bueno, da igual, vamos a ver qué pasa. Quiere tortuga. Vale, pues entonces sí, voy a tener. Y ya para la próxima vez. Vale, pues nada. Vamos a dejarlo aquí con una muerte de final. Sí, pero están bien de noches. Sí. Acá, creo que la siguiente vez que me tiro, nada, ya está. Vale, pues lo he dicho, lo dejo por aquí. Otro día más y mejor. Ah, me dejé hablar aquí con él. Qué raro. Pues venga, vamos a echar un vistazo. Testing. Doric, recording on behalf of Friend Detective Agency, on site at the Brotherhood's Jade Excavation. After the recent demon run in, our efforts to curtail Campus Energy Crisis are postponed. Me and my team of experts. Your team, huh? Our team is strategizing a plan to remove said demon from its power source, a ley line housed within the mine. You're recording? Can I get the net on? 
Engineering Grandmaster Yao here, reporting from the trenches of an illicit paid mining mega operation. Yao? These are case notes, not a hollow news broadcast. <clears throat> I'll continue logging updates as they occur. Gorik, out. Just trying to lighten the mood. Vale, pues sigamos. Case notes. Entry 2. Today I ran further analysis on the unknown element present in the commander's case samples. Though still indeterminate, I suspect it's a byproduct of the demon, likely agitated by its confined ley line proximity. For now, I've set up a makeshift lab for experimentation here at the mine. It's humble, but rather quaint, if I do say. It will serve my needs for the time being. I just need to keep out a few nosy Kappa trespassers. As usual, I'll continue logging my research as it proved pertinent. Gorik, out. Case notes, entry three. An unexpected visitor dropped by. Chol Mu. I thought maybe he'd come to shut down my lab. He was over here? Yeah, uh, he does hate things built without his approval. But he seemed to take an interest in my work, uh, particularly the previously mentioned hay samples. Of course, I was thrilled to recount my current hypotheses, but he seemed more concerned about potential health effects. He's been really torn up about his crew. I'll continue updates once confidentiality can be maintained. Sorry. Just curious about the research is all. Well, while I usually record notes as soon as possible, the event that transpired recently required a moment to process. It began when one of those Kappa pads got into my equipment, while wreaking senseless havoc, smashed a hay sample. The sample was small. However, inhaling its contents in an enclosed area made me lightheaded. I knew it was unlikely to cause damage. Still, I went to recuperate on a cot at the medical tent. Once rested, I felt well enough to return to work. But when I opened my eyes, what I saw made my nausea return full force. Who? Oh, uh, Detective Rama. I mean... Am I interrupting? No, no. I'm uh, just recording some research notes. Uh, I can get back to them later. Case notes. Entry 5. Rana visited to check in after my Kappa incident, which I suppose still needs explanation. Picking up where I left off, When I opened my eyes, I saw something I don't think I'll ever be able to forget. Lish was sitting across from me. Not in his golden body, uh, but exactly how I remembered him from before his illness took over. He stared at me in a menacing way he never had before. And his body disintegrated into a mass of writhing beetles. They swarmed me. I can still feel the prickle of their claws across my skin. At the point I thought I might suffocate, they vanished. Next thing I remember, I was clinging tightly to Yao, sobbing. They comforted me until I could pull myself together. Once I found the words, I told them everything. They stayed with me for a long time. Then they return later with some tea. I'm still shaken up and rather embarrassed about what happened. But I'm so grateful Yao was there to help me through it. I'm going to see Tiny soon. And I plan to tell her everything that happened. Take them. Entry six. I paid Tiny a much needed visit and told her everything. She has a way of making me feel better. But we also spoke about the implications. We think the unknown element I've been studying is causing these effects. 
But what's most troubling is that this incident confirms my earlier hypothesis. These hallucinations aren't random. Based on the commander's experiences, and now my own, the delusions appear to target prime emotional vulnerabilities. The how of it all remains a mystery, but it doesn't explain the demon's manipulation of one's senses. Now that I'm back, I plan to tell Rama and Yao about this development, though it seems they stop by in my absence. They installed a few Kappa repellent gadgets outside my lab and left a kind note with a plate of pea cookies. Picturing those two working together makes me smile. They seem on better terms lately. I hope the trend continues. Vale. <coughs> Parece que el resto hay que esperar. Vale, nada. Eh, sin grabar, voy a ver si completo ya la colección que me queda de la tortuga para poder completar el mapa. Y el día que complete el mapa, aprovecho y grabo el meta evento. Así que nada, esto es todo por hoy.